Okay, so as far as the 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 ROI, so I heard you mention improving the tracking, improving the coding. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, what does that entail? Yeah, I would say it's a great question. So making sure that you know if you're utilizing an impact or a CJ for your you know network based tracking really making sure that they're set up there, they have that appropriate link. In addition to that, you want to go through a proper, you know, Google UTM builder, make sure that aligns with your internal tracking so you can define each of those parameters appropriately. Um, there's ways to do that through Google URL builder. There's ways to like, get advice from your team and from an agency around that. Um, those are two really big ones. It sounds very simple but a lot of times it's not being done properly. There's ways to go into a CJ or an impact and kind of go through the URL building process with a partner that's new or even a mature partner to say, okay, here are the links. These links are dedicated to you. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the networks are now enabling you to say, okay, you're going to use this code and it's X number of uses or it's one time use. There's ways to do it so that um, other partners are not getting credit if I'm influencer, you know, one, two, three in LA and I get a code, we don't want interest, inter, you know, influencer ABC in Dallas to use that code and get credit for their attributed sure. code. So there's ways to set that up from a network, a Google UTM and a, and a, and a vanity and a, and a code perspective that all really help give you the best fidelity there. Um, aside from that, you know, I think, I think just, that, that should cover you at a macro level, but there's other things from a, you know, with affiliate, are you tracking off of API pixel or batch, really the top three tracking methodologies. And it's it's wild how often you're not getting um, enough tracking fidelity. We recommend Moonpole. They're a really good third party that does a great job with tracking and validating affiliate traffic. Uh, and they can run through any like a lot of different URLs, influencer-based traffic too, to make sure that from from the entire spring, are we losing tracking at any given point? And they've done a lot of thought around cookies, first-party cookies, third-party deprecation. Uh, fortunately, a lot of affiliate does rely on first-party cookies, but some of it does rely on third, which we know has gone away for many and is going away for all by the end of this year. So um it's starting to go away as we speak. So it's really important to kind of have those things covered and checked to make sure that your, your tracking is as effective as you can.